everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I, let me check my notes, uh, am your middleest brother, Travis And McElroy. I'm your sweet baby, Whoa. Griffin. Okay. Dang. Sorry, guys, there seems to be some sort of lag on the Skype, and I stepped all over Travis's dick on that one, and I'll own it. <laughs> Is there a lag on the Skype, or are you just going, I, uh, there's lag on the Skype, man. There's okay, Griffin. Yeah, lag it's on the wild, Skype man, doesn't because I'm talking and I hear nothing. Okay, <laughs> but impossible. but the lag wouldn't make you talk words, soon. Okay. When I hear the words, they're laughter. When I they they have finished by the time I speak. It can't. Lag doesn't work. It's no, that would mean you, like it's time traveling lag that makes it sooner. Guys, for you. I, I was playing Quake when you were still quaking in your fucking diapers. Okay, I know all about lag, so don't come to me and tell me about lag. Check your ping. Check your ping, you freaking nerds. <laughs> This is going to be a tough record if I'm hearing everything you say before you finish saying it. And this is your middleest brother, Travis McElroy. And welcome to Sawbones. And this is we Griffin McElroy. Unstuck. It's 30 under 30. See, that time it was it was fucking perfect for me. That one was okay. It's huh? possible I've become unstuck in time. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Good one, Juice. Oh, God. I didn't do any jokes yet on this one. Uh, maybe just hit shuffle play on this episode and see how that yeah. works. Yeah, you know how that's a feature that's on most podcast apps where they'll, they'll just play you 10 seconds at a time, just a random mm -hmm. little sliver, random little cross section? I So I guess it seems like we all had individual bits we were going to do for the opening. I was going to make a joke <laughs> about Wick watchers, just people who watch John Wick. Uh, and I was gonna talk oh, about what, like what do you guys think is in the new John Wick movie because I haven't seen it and what kind of fun stuff do you think he does? I think he goes to an arcade where he uses the special coins to play a giant claw machine. Travis, you you should see the new John Wick film is one thing I would tell you. Oh, okay. Well, I do plan. I have joined Wick Watchers, so my plan is to watch the new John Wick film, Justin. So in your canon, is is Wick Watchers people who have seen it? Or people who want are planning to seeing it. I think um, it's people who have to sort of ration how much they can see it. Correct. Like I just watched John Wick two. That's four points, and I have a budget of six points today, so I can watch yes. half of one if I want. And I think because we only get like one John Wick a year now, and, right, and like which you don't want to burn unfair. out on it too much, so you get six points a day. Um, if you watch John Wick one, that's five points. Yeah. Um, and then if you watch the new John Wick, that's all your six. John Wick two, you can watch that one. That's four points, and then you can. I mean, watch... the, the fucking the fucking train knife fight with Common alone is three points. That's yeah, that's three, three points, points right there. The, yeah, that's three of the four points. There's a lot. What was your bit, Justin? Me, I didn't have one. My bit comes later. Oh, oh okay. I got a new bit. It's a new segment that uh, I'm really excited about. Well, why not just do it now? Do you think? Is, is I think the time is right, and I think that it's been a while since we've done any funny stuff. All right. Uh, excuse me, everybody. This is Justin McElroy. I just wanted Ooh. to come in over the radio here to inform you that it is pilot season. Ooh. That's hey, really good. Welcome to our new bit. My new bit. My new personal bit that we can do once a year, and it's called pilot season. Oh, good. And what it... And what it what it is, is, this is an advice show for the, did we say that? No, no, no. We just jumped okay. right into the time travel. This is my brother, my brother, me. It's advice show for the modern era. Justin is me. Travis is the middle one. The little squeaky fellow is Griffin. And we do advice. But right now, it's pilot season. And now uh, we're going to just walk you through Ooh. some of the shows that are coming your way. Uh, did you just eat some salt water chappy? No, that's the pilot voice, oh, Travis. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, today, we're going to be going into some network dramas. Um. And this is an interactive segment. I'm going to tell you the name of the series and sort of the log line, maybe even some of the stars of the film. And the, or, sorry, film. the TV series, not a film. It's like a film, like short film, like several short films. Well, in it's a row. A, well, it's like one big fucking long film that they cut it's up a, into a bunch of little parts. It's up to you to decide. But anyway, uh, so uh, I'm going to give you the the name of it, the characters, the whatever. And um, I want you guys to tell me if one of three things are happening. One, it was ordered a series. Mm -hmm. Two, passed over. Three, some form of sent back to the woodshed for the workshop, the proverbial workshop for a little bit of retooling. Okay. Okay. okay? First up is, is the ABC dramas. Now, this is not all the ABC dramas that are coming, but it is um, some of the ABC dramas. <laughs> That were put up for pilot season. 
Uh, first is called Heart of Life. <laughs> Logline. Logline. Inspired by John Mayer's song, oops, oops, this drama. Oops. Uh-oh. oops. This drama follows two sets of adult siblings from wildly different worlds who discovered they are related and must reassess everything they thought they knew about their shared father. As they explore the mystery of their separate childhoods, they'll experience the difficulty in overcoming the sins of the past and learn the joys of reuniting with lost family. Yeah, huh. I think that one's a skip a I think that one did not make that's it. A, that's a j- inspired by a John Mayer song. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to also guess a big old uh, skip though on that one. <laughs> that's being redeveloped. They uh, like okay. some of it. Yeah. There's some of that's we pretty like good. the we John Mayer it. stuff. Yeah, I should have followed my gut there because I liked <laughs> some of that. <laughs> some of that is good. Some of that was real nice for me. It hit the okay. ears in a real pleasing way. So this next one from ABC Drama, the ABC Drama Stable, is called A Hypnotist Love Story. Oh. The Hypnotist the Love Story. The titles need some help. I th- maybe that's what needs reworking, because Heart of Life? Is that what it was? Heart of Love? Yeah. It's Heart nothing. of Life. Okay. Heart of Life. Hard to remember. Um, the Hypnotist Love Story. Uh, log line. After a string of failed romances, successful hypnotherapist Ellen is optimistic about her cor- current boyfriend. But then he reveals a disturbing truth. A stalker ex-girlfriend, played by Heather Graham, has been following him for years. Ellen finds herself intrigued and oddly thrilled by the stalker, entirely unaware that they've already met. So this is a drama? I missed the part. It's a drama about a super good hypnotist that dates a guy who's got a stalker, but the hypnotist loves it until she doesn't. I'm confused as to how that's a series. It's based on a novel, I think. It's but that seems novel. like um, less than yeah, one how, episode. How's that going to get six seasons in a movie? You tell me. I don't know. I mean, okay. We got Heather Graham attached, so that's a pickup. That's a pickup day one. Scrappy-Doo? I'm going to say it's a pass. That's a pass. Correct, <sighs> Travis. That's a hard pass. Next, series. In the ABC drama stable is NYPD Blue. I shit you not. Wait. Wait. They- it follows Andy Sipowitz's son Theo as he tries to learn his earn his detective shield and work in the 15th squad while investigating his father's murder <gasps> and that's from and that's NYPD blue now should they have called it NYPD too yes of course they should yes. have that's obvious in obviously anybody what's happening with this show now pick it up baby it's NYPD blue yeah I'm gonna it's say got- that's an obvious pickup <sighs> obvious pickup being redeveloped <gasps> It's going to take another Blue. pass. It's NYPD Blue 2. They're going to do it again. Triangle. Guys, what if the Bermuda what? Triangle was not a watery grave in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> but a land lost in time that has trapped travelers over the course of human history? When a family is shipwrecked in this strange land, they must band together with a group of like-minded inhabitants from throughout history to survive and somehow find a way home. It's a series called Triangle. Now, that everyone knows hell, that actually. the Bermuda Triangle is in the middle of the ocean, but what my book presupposes is maybe it isn't. Um, uh, I'm going to say that's a going to series because I would like to watch it. I would watch that very bad. So I know please. you nasty boys would watch it. It is in contention for mid-season consideration. Ooh. Haven't made a decision on this one yet, but ABC, you pounce, or I'm going to kickstart it yeah. for myself. Hey, yeah. big news, the McElroy Brothers have started their own major uh, television network so that we can pick up Triangle. It's called Bebo, and it's, it's got comedy. all the alt comedy you crave and triangle poached from ABC this fall. We're, Fuck them. We're, we're going to go over to CBS, and CBS is where the old people play, and that's where they like to get nasty and do their old stuff with none of the young people watching. No cell phones allowed over at CBS. That's what it's called. No cell phones allowed. Uh, so we're going to get nasty over there to find the most boring series available. Um, Tommy is the first one. When a former high-ranking NYPD officer played by E.D. Falco becomes the first female chief of police for Los Angeles, she uses her unflinching honesty and hardball tactics to navigate the social, political, and national security issues that converge with enforcing the law. Ooh. Yeah, that's a cop show. I've heard of that. A cop show with the E.D. Falco. It's co- it's Tommy. It's called Tommy, 
but it was formerly known as Nancy. So I guess they just decided to call her something different okay. on this one. Then I don't think they, I don't think the they're show. done fixing this one up. I think it's I think it's back in the in the woodshed. I'm gonna say a pickup. Are you? It's absolutely a pickup, Travis. God, your instincts are so good. Of course, Edie Falco as a hard nosed cop. Yeah, hard nosed cop turned judge for the olds. They'll love it. All rise. Formerly courthouse mm. follows the dedicated former, chaotic. Formerly what? Former All Rise is the name of it now. Not Paul Reiser. <laughs> That's a different series. All Rise. Okay. Formerly Courthouse. Are we still it talking about the, the same the, show? Is, is that the name of the... It's, stop. Nah. Is it colon <laughs> formerly Courthouse? No. Oh, it's, it's, the it's, name it's, of the thing used to be Courthouse. Now courthouse. it's... Courthouse. Okay. Right. Okay. It follows the dedicated, chaotic, hopeful, and sometimes absurd lives of the judges, assistant district attorneys, and public defenders oh as they work God. with bailiffs, Sexy. clerks, cops, and jurors to bring justice to the people of oh, Los Angeles. Shit. Sexy. I, I started playing Pokemon Go in the middle of that description. It was so fucking boring. <laughs> well, no, that's why they changed it all right, because Courthouse, ooh, but All Rise makes it sound like boner. It used to be called Courthouse. <laughs> courthouse, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh, man, we need more shows named after the buildings that they're in. What about all these young, sexy judges and district attorneys and what ha- court what's stenographers? What's happening with this show? What's happening with this show on CBS drama? I'm going to say that's a pickup, Justin. Hey, I don't, I, now I don't think CBS gives a shit. That's a pickup. That is a pickup. Yeah. That's that's young, great. You'll be able judges. to watch that on TV. Damn. Yeah. Do, you know, do you understand, though, that Tommy is about the first female chief of police for Los Angeles, and All Rise is about the district attorneys and judges and public defenders and clerks and cops in Los Angeles. It's like, it's a they DCU. literally are starting yes. two simultaneous <laughs> disparate takes this on the legal our, system in Los Angeles. This is our uh, LAPDCU. Um, yeah, but the McElroy brothers get six episodes. Yes. That's what they get. They get six episodes. I'm not bitter. I'm just saying there's a lot of TV money flowing around here, and then you maybe could kick us some. Uh, okay, so those are CBS shows. I just read you two of the most boring things I've ever had to read on this podcast. Both ordered a series. The Republic of Sarah, a small New Hampshire town, is thrust onto the world stage when the discovery of a valuable resource within its borders compels the residents to declare themselves an independent nation setting the unlikely young mayor and her cabinet of inexperienced locals on the path to running a brand new country, the Republic of Sarah. What the fuck? Holy shit. Sedition. Yes. It's, but it's fun. Is it a drama? Is this a, still a drama or is this is a, it comedy? a comedy? It's drama. still the drama section in this oh, one. Boy. Maybe more of a dramedy. Okay. Oh, this is a drama. I mean, it's a short show. The fucking f- full force of the military rolls over them. <laughs> brought down on them. Yeah, it's like but that. Yeah, got we just to there. and keep this for ourselves. Uh, no, you didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like under the hey. dome, but without the dome. So the the, the military is just like, I guess we'll kill all of you then. Yeah, Weird. I guess we'll just come and take what we want. What's happened with this series though? That sounds so cool and fun. I'm gonna say it's a pass, Justin. I think they can fix this up. I like some of the stuff in there. It's a hard pass. Son it's of a, too oh cool my God, why is Travis so fucking good at this? Travis is fucking great at this. Now, here's the one that this was the, I was casually um, perusing this article on, I don't know, Hollywood Reporter or whatever it was. And this is the one that made me decide that we should probably talk about these. A San Francisco homicide detective is, this is called Alive. And I'll tell you what it used to be called after. A San Francisco homicide detective is mysteriously brought back to life after being killed in the line of duty. But as he resumes his old life and he and his wife realize he isn't the same person he used to be, they zero in on the strange man behind his resurrection. What is his name? Travis, what's his name? Lazarus. No, no. What's the name of the the strange man behind his resurrection? It's Dr. Victor Frankenstein, it says here. Ryan Phillippe stars in Alive, formerly called fucking Frankenstein, the cop show. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Yeah. Hold yeah, up. Yeah. Hold yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Cop. Ryan cop Philippe kill. as cop Frankenstein's kill. monster. Somebody kill Ryan Philippe, right? Then he, okay, oh no, yes. he's back, but he's different than he used to be. And he realizes it, I guess. Oh, who did this? Oh, it was me, Dr. Frankenstein, <laughs> a real life doctor. <laughs> oh, my um, goodness. No. Yeah, that's a that, yeah. oh wow, that's a big pickup. Wow, holy shit! I'm gonna have to say that's going back to the old woodshed. 
No, it's a pass because it sounds fucking awesome. And it's a pass. And they pass on that. They had that. <laughs> they said, nope, this one's a pass. This one this we're going to pass good on. For us. We don't deserve it. That's from uh, the, the people who brought you elementary. They wanted to go back to the well and they bring you fucking. Oh, okay. Jesus All right. Christ. Eventually, we got to start getting back to our core competencies. That is the end of the ones that I have. That is ABC and CBS. Uh, there are many more now. Ne- just their dramas. There are many more networks to to go over, but those are the two that I have for you right now. Um, they're all buck. Wi- I mean, they're all so wild. Yeah, they had a, they had a show Leslie Odom and Katie Segal as priests that are working together. Oh my God. That's a pass. What? That, that's it's a, a pass. pass. What? That's a pass. I was hooked off that one line. Off that one line, I wanted it. I know. I know. I, I already, oh, sorry. I already, Casey all had a separate show, but still, if that one's called Nana, that one's called Nana. That might, have, Odo, been, that that might have been the issue. That may have been the problem. Is it was called Nana? Ugh. Okay. TV. That's it. TV. We've had, we've, I've had it with you. 